tonight and and we come to own what as you know we rotate the commentators here and with me is jess tonight welcome along we're doing this on a wednesday it's so weird it feels very weird because i'm not used to commentating on a wednesday either but yeah we're here in silverstone it's probably night rain probably due to the typical british weather arnold could potentially get the championship sealed tonight it may not happen it may happen we'll, we'll have to wait and see of course Ah, but before all that, we've got one shot quality to deal with. Something that, uh, as we've said many times, we can't really keep track of because the game doesn't really let you keep track of it. So we're just going to have to choose a car and hope that uh, it's the one that goes on pull. From what I've seen, Corey is looking the fastest round here. So uh, I, I think we're going to look for him probably and see how he gets on because there have been a lot of people in the chat have been wondering how on earth Corey has managed to go as quick as he can. I think there's he's doing 36s when everyone else is sat in the 37s. So that's sort of what we're looking for for Paul. But, uh, yeah, we've got to hope and pray this week that we have no issues as well. Because we've got to bring this up because it's happened three weeks in a row. We've had issues after issues after issues. So hopefully everything goes well. But we're just waiting for everyone to ready up first. Yeah, touch wood. Jake had problems last time and I'm determined not to have problems this time. But I'm riding on board with Dexter. I don't know who you're riding on board with. Well, it's taking so long to switch. I think I've got Corey now. We're on board with him. Thank goodness for that. And I believe he should stay P1. Based on what we've seen from him so far in all this TT stuff, he should go P1. This is effectively a TT lap, as you'd imagine. Just one shot qualifying. This is about as quick as it gets in this game. And uh, worth keeping an eye on Arnold as well, because obviously if he does... Uh, I think he has to be, we think, anyway, about 50 points clear by the end tonight, which he's not actually anywhere near. He's about halfway there, which will be quite a lot of gap to make in one night. But if he's 50 points clear by the end of the night, he will be champion. So we've got to keep our eye on him as he, uh, where is he? He's fourth at the moment, so we'll keep an eye on that. But Corey, he is staying P1, so it looks like his pace is being realised. Yeah, it is. He was looking very good in Austria in the in the second race of the night when he decided on reverse grid power as well. As oh, Corey, that's Ooh. not how you do that corner. Just past cops there. I think that oh, might dear. have been an invalidation. Let me get the map up. That would help. Yeah, it is an invalidated uh, lap. Corey, he, well, he likes invalidating his laps, doesn't he? Yeah, way to waste your potential. That gives Khalifa P1. And Arnold then P2. I guess uh, I can ride with Arnold for the rest of this one. Championship leader. We'll see if he can make the difference in this last sector to go up into P1. Um, but yeah, I think we had Red Matt and NK Born. Two Premiers also have an issue. So it looks like there's going to be two Karns and two Premiers at the back. But who's going to be at the front? It's Khalifa actually by a decent margin. By three tenths of a second on pole here. And look at the amount of times that have been disqualified. I think we're only going to get 12 times on the board because I know Jacko was nowhere. A good chance he was also invalidated. But yeah, really, uh, a lot of people struggling. That could be interesting for the race then because that could mean lots of penalties. Yeah, I've uh, done a few races in the F2 cars around here and yeah, it's just quite easy to invalidate. Especially, I would say, through heading into uh, Cops and through, I think, um, uh, Stowe as well. If you cut the uh, inside curb, then that's it. You're done. So um, let's just hope they don't get as many warnings and penalties there in there tonight. Right then, here's the grid. I mean, you can see the difference in the times. Uh, Khalifa gets the three points for full position from Arno, but then look at that. It's a 1.2 second gap from second to third. And Cam leads the rest of the pack then from Jordan, Yuri, Brandon, Kyle, Dexter, Wes, Risky, Pete and Dark Shadow and then all the others. Baza, Snowy Panda, Mr. John, Jamie, Corey, Redman, Jacko, MK Bourne, all of them disqualified. But uh, yeah, it's certainly like Khalifa and Arnold are going to be clear of the pack. And we're going to see Corey again this week, siding through the field by the looks of him. I wouldn't be surprised on a track like this that he'll go for reverse grid pole because I think these are one of the tracks here where you can get the overtakes done, but if you start on pole, then you could be in the best shot of a win. So, But Corey's fourth in the standings now, so anything can happen for him. He's got the likes of uh, Matt chasing him down in the championship as well, so he wants to be ahead of him at least, um, even if he can't get ahead of K Khalifa. But yeah, it's I think a showdown between Khalifa and Arnold tonight, really, to be honest. Even if it's not tonight, it's next week as well. And it's either the softs or the hards tonight for the drivers. No other tyres tonight. And it's more than likely going to be people doing softer hards 
uh, for the the first race, and then for the next race, um, it's going to be people. I think most people they don't want to stop. They're going to go for the hard tire. So that should be interesting. I think we're waiting for Yuri to ready up, and yeah, right. we're just waiting for Yuri to ready up. And remember, there is no formation lap. We have too many issues with those, so we've just turned them off. And that means we'll be going straight to a race start. Assuming Corey... Oh, they're already actually nice. That's good. We can see the five lights are on then. Difficult first corner this one. It'll be interesting to see how side by side they all go. But Khalifa has got away. Arnold as well. And we see a lot of side by side through the pack. But through turn one, how many risks are they going to want to take? I think a lot of them are going wide. We have carnage going on at the back. But Arnold leads the race from Khalifa, Cam and Jordan then. And let's see who went off at the back. I'm not sure who's sure they've got any yellow flags out. The game will not show safety me most car. of the time. I'm hoping we're okay. But yeah, safety car. So yeah, the game not showing me that. But thanks for that, Jess. You're welcome. I don't know why. I don't know why. It never shows me. It, it shows everyone else. It never shows me. I'm having to rely on... This is what we have co comms for, you see. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, that's all. Oh, we've got a lot of penalties going on. Anyway, you can see them on the side of your screen here. They they do show up, Frank. Uh, we've got five setting penalties. For Kyle, Wes, Risky, and Dexter, then. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of cars facing backwards, and there's still more penalties. Stitchers on to 10 seconds of penalties right now. Oh, my goodness. They just, He's they got just, half a front wing. That's why I don't like safety cars on this game, because it just provides so many issues, but they just got to keep it together. But, I mean, will they think about pitting now, to go, or will they just wait for a little bit longer just to just get the tyres uh, into a good nick, which I think what probably some people would do, but Corey's already up to 12th position after all that uh, mess at the start. How did that happen? That's because probably Corey uh, likes to avoid the carnage at this moment in time, but yeah, it's a shame that we're starting the race on, under four yellows, but uh, that's what happened in Silverstone, sadly, in most races I commentate. Yeah, it is typical really, isn't it? I think Pete's got a big X over his name as well. That's why the pack aren't really catching up from him down. You can see Jamie all over the back of him. I think he is allowed to overtake him. Yeah. And it uh, looks like Pete might be out of this one. But um, we have got a pitter. We have got Wes into the pits. Now he'll take his five second stop go. I'm sure you're allowed to do that under the safety car still. So many drive throughs you can't take, I think. Yeah. And this could well be strategy as well um, because if it's anything like F1 cars, actually, the tyres should theoretically be able to go the whole race. And you can see then, Wes is taking his penalty. It'll be interesting to see if he comes out first, because that could obviously put him into a very good position in terms of the strategy. But you can see the hard compound tyres are coming on. I'm acting a lot of the pitters here. Mostly will be for penalties and for uh, front wing purposes. Oh no, not drive through, um. sorry. <laughs> they can't serve it in safety car. That's the mistake I learned in Belgium in Jacko car last season. Right, look at this. Jamie is the first one out, and Corey was also under the pits, waste to be the third one out. But that could be, could be the running order. Remember Corey, we know how fast he is. He's already gone onto the grass, mind you, on his way to the pits. At least he won't make that mistake again. But um, yeah, now it's all about whether he and Jamie can stay competitive and fast enough to keep up with the leaders when we get going again because um, yeah they should be in a good position because I mean most of this track is uh, really flat out so I don't imagine they'll have much trouble overtaking actually as long as they keep close so it should be simple for them uh, a bit like Austria in that respect slightly less braking zone but they should be quick enough to pass I think most of it around here can go full throttle. I think in the F1 cars, you can go cops full throttle. I'm not sure if you could do it on the F2 cars. So, But yeah, there's definitely more overtaking opportunities in some tracks. Like we got Maggots, uh, well, we got uh, Stowe Corner. We've got the, 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 the straight here as well, Wellington Straight, Brooklyn. We've got Abbey as well. We've just got tons of places where people just can get a very good slipstream and I think Stowe could be the easiest corner, I think, to overtake tonight. Um, but it's a lot harder, like you said, than in than the F1 cars to overtake. So uh, something to keep an eye on. And Khalifa was showing AI for a minute on my screen, but that's probably because he's on race director. So he's all good now. So safety car in another lap. as we still got Dark Shadow and Dexter and Snowy Pan. No, Snowy Pan, I can't remember who he... Uh, was it... I, I think he's changed his name so many times. It's, it reminds me of some other people in other leagues. that They just change <laughs> their name so many times. I think I, I need to double check. I think it's Storm. I think it's, it I was think, Storm. Yeah, I think it is Storm. Yeah. 
And, um, so confusing. The, the reason they're taking so long to catch up, by the way, is that I've, said, I've mentioned this before. The safety car always has a set speed, right? And yep. I think it's set for F1 speeds. It could probably go slower, in all fairness, but it won't do. I mean, it's going pretty slow already. It's just the F2 cars aren't F1 cars, so they will take longer to catch up. And so, trust me, Dexter and Dark Shadow and Sued Mr. John will all be going flat out here. But it just doesn't really look like they're catching much, but they will catch just a bit slower. Now, what yeah. will be interesting to me is that there are, obviously, Snowy Panda and Dark Shadow on brand new softs. Now, will they have any chance of getting to the end? Because this could be a point for the sprint race, because the sprint race, I think, is 12 laps. I hope it's 12 laps. 11 or 12, something around there. If you can get those softs to the end of the race from here, I don't know what they were on before, but if you can't get into the end, then that would be a good reference for everybody else. But we'll see what we'll see how long they go on them. Yeah, because don't forget the safety car, they're not going at full race pace and usually in a pit stop for soft to hard, you oh, can pit around. Dark Shadow's oh. gone off. Dark well, Shadow's gone to Narnia and doesn't, spin out. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really Oh, he's gone again. It doesn't really help our tire. Uh, experiment this one does it he needs to no. keep it on the track and that might keep the safety car a lot longer as well if he can't catch up we have had this happen previously in the f1 tier where people have fell behind too much at this point and it's actually led the safety car to do another lap because they couldn't let everyone catch up we'll see though if it goes in it would happen at around stow it would tell you let's see yeah it will probably uh, pop up and uh, no the lights are still on i mean they could go off right now if they really want to but uh, I think Dark Shadow's mistake has yeah it's left the safety car a lap longer and that's enough for Arnold and Khalifa to say right I'm pitting so that's their strategy sorted that might not have been the best idea though because they don't get a chance to pull away on a restart now and the problem is I'm pretty sure Jamie Wace Corey Wace is ahead of Corey by the way I don't know how that happened but Wace not ahead of Corey they, they should get ahead Snowy Panda on New Soft should get ahead as well um, these people pitting, they don't think they realise just how long this pit lane is. It's around um, about 30 seconds in an F1 car, but it's slightly longer if you're in, in an F2 car. I yeah, because less shooting. speed. Yeah. 37 mile an hour, I think the F1s go 50, they might go the same, but either way, look how much time they've lost. And that could keep the safety car out yet another lap. I mean, oh, come on. it's just an endless cycle with his safety car, but I think Arnold and Khalifa and Jacko and Risky might have made a mistake here, but Khalifa has went on to some new sauce. Um, I'm assuming you don't have to, I'm assuming you don't have to run both tires. I thought, hold on, let's just check race director actually. What tires? He started on the sauce, surely, didn't he, Khalifa? Yes, he did. So can you do soft to soft? I mean, there's a few yeah. that did that story pattern to Dark Shadow. Jacko, we need to we need to figure out these regulations. But if they are doing that, then that again actually sort of tells us that they think these sauce can do the whole feet, uh, the whole sprint race, and they won't need to do the hards. But uh, yeah, I don't really know what the actual regulations say about this. I will but, have uh, a look. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I'll have a look. I'll have a little bit of a nose, but it's probably not telling so, me. So this leaves Cam in the lead of the race. Ah, Corey, he's hit. Well, actually, Panda's hit Corey, by the looks of it, because uh, he was the one behind Corey, but I think that's some five second penalties. We love those. Oh. And it indeed is two five second penalties going out there. One to Corey, one to Snowy Panda. Just to remind you, the whole field does have some penalties, five of them. Uh, they are Kyle, Red Matt, who went from last, I believe, all the way up to seventh. Corey, Snowy Panda, and Dexter, and the safety car is coming in this lap. You got anything on that regulation that may or may not exist? Uh, I can't find it at the moment, but as soon as I find it, I'll uh, I'll let you know. But um, I don't think there's any clear indication. But yeah, Cam is going to leave with Jordan in second. I wonder if Cam's going to get used to this right now. He's got to get a good getaway because otherwise, I, I would say I would say Brandon and Carl's probably going to be the one that can get away the most here out of the drivers in front as well. So if if Cam doesn't get a move on, those two going to be on his heels. Khalifa's into the pet lane as is Jacko, so they've probably realised that they are on the wrong tyre. So that might answer our question for us about whether they were on the right tyre. Snowy Panda didn't pit though, but it looks like they had a very clean restart. Oh. F2 cars on restarts, they don't seem too... Oh, MK4, MK what's he done? I don't know. Yeah, is he... 
bend it on the final corner. Look, that's not in the pit lane, is it? No. That's on the final corner. If it was in the pit lane, he would have kept on going. So, yeah, oh, he bend it in the got, final corner. Whoa, what Should... on earth has happened to turn one? We've got Corey. Oh, my He's God. He's gone off. We've got someone off to the right, Mr. John. And there was Snowy Panda, I think, was off as well. What on earth's gone on there? We didn't, that we was didn't a messy turn yellow... three, it looked like. Yeah, I I don't think it did the yellow flag even Corey's showed up. Corey's out maybe. as well. Well, yeah, Corey had went off again. I don't really know what's happened there. So we weren't really watching it. It was more looking at the front, trying to figure out what happened to, to MK Bourne there. I didn't have a yellow flag, I don't think, put on my screen. I do apologize if I missed it. But, uh, yeah, that was chaos at turn one. We just lost multiple drivers. I was worried it was Khalifa in there, but it wasn't in the end. Either way, he's had to pit. That might mess him up. Red Mask going around the outside of Yuri into Maggots, by the way, and oh, into Beckett's. That'll be Yuri onto the grass and losing the position. So we do have some racing going on, but we have a lot of carnage as well. Yeah, they do. these guys, I think, prefer probably carnage more than racing, but I think we need to get to racing. But Arnold's looking very racy on Dexter. Heading into the, the hangar straight into heading into Stowe now. I think I think it looks like uh, Arnold's going to get a good run. It may be an easy pass. Can Dexter cover it off? Yes, he does cover it off into oh, Stowe. But the lockup's not going to be good for Dexter though. I think Arnold's going to get this surely heading into Vale and Club. A bit of an X on peace oh, name. Oh, there was it. a little bit of a slide there from Arnold. That won't be good for him as Dexter holds on to temp for now. I thought he was going to spin there, Arno, but luckily he's kept it facing in the right direction. But all this chaos has left Wiss in the net race lead here. And he's got a nice cushion of three seconds to the car of Pete, who's got an X on his name. And Dexter's crashed into him. Is there any damage? Oh, he's oh spinning my goodness. Is That's there any up. damage? That was... There's a bit clever to go for that. He hasn't got any damage, though. He was running in the net second place. He's just lost out on that one and risky now look to be net second and third so risky even though he pitted and Arnold as well might still benefit from it in the end but they've got to make five seconds on Wiss and having lost nearly a third of the race under the safety car can Wiss now go and win this race because it looks pretty good for him at the minute with the hards um, being in the safety car it's almost certain that the hards can get to the end because with the 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 sprint race later on being 12 laps and the hards can make it to the end throughout the whole race distance. I'm almost certain Waze can get to the end from here. So Waze is, yeah, is in a best position as well. Bazza maybe not, because obviously Bazza's still yet to pit. Um, Arnold could benefit if Waze does a bottle, which I hope Waze does not have a bottle there into a T T1 potentially as well. But yeah, we got this uh, Arnold saying purple sectors so if uh, Waze is slower than Arnold maybe Arnold can catch up what he needed as we got the soft one as pitting of Brandon Cam and I think that's Kyle, yeah that's Kyle into the pits as well for the Haas and DRS has just been enabled for the first time this race so let's see how far ahead Waze is of these pitters because obviously I mean look at that they haven't even got to their pit boxes yet and he's well clear so it looks like we're going to get a bit of a standoff, most likely between Waste and Arnai, because Arnai caught by about eight tenths since we've last sort of. Um, it's been about half a lap, maybe two thirds of a lap. He's catching rapidly. So this will be an interesting fight for the lead, and Arnai obviously looking to try and secure the title tonight. To take 25 points out of this uh, race would be very nice indeed for him. And with Khalifa so far down, Corey out of the race. You know, he's gaining lots of points on lots of people here right now. So Arnold looks possibly like he could be on to make this title tonight. And that's going to be an absolute nightmare for us because we're going to have to do the sums. Yes, um, I'm probably going to do a lot of sums. I remember in ILR when I had to do sums right in my head as, as um, steward reports were coming in as well. It was it was annoying as we've seen someone going off the track. That's Baza. That's going to allow Waze to catch up again. and possibly fight for P4 on track, but he probably won't be fighting too much because he's on a different strategy. J Luke's chasing Risky, heading into what looks like um, just past Cops and into uh, the tricky complex coming up. Now, uh, to Chapel, actually. Yeah, but it is Chapel. I'm losing track of my corner names, I think. It looks like J Luke's going to go for a similar move to what we saw uh, Arnold go with Dexter earlier. Is there? We've got Dark Shadow that's had an off in... Uh, looks like Chapel as well, by the looks of things, or just before that. As uh, yeah, looks like uh, JD's got the move done on Risky. Quite easy there. Oh, oh he's lost it. 
He's lost it there and ah, he's touched. That's oh. unfortunate. But there's no damage though. Luckily there's no damage. But that we saw that happen, was it not R Knight that did the same thing as he uh, slid into there. So if you if you spam the gears down like an F1 car, it's not gonna slow down. And that's maybe it's just natural instinct to spam the gears down, but you can't do that. And they're doing that into the corners where they're trying to make the overtakes and on the hards, which probably aren't the warmest tyre in the world. And it's catching some of them out. They've got to be careful. Arnold's now got the gap to under three seconds. Or at least it was. He's just gone slightly over again. But the point is he's catching. And he's 7.3 seconds ahead of Risky. So it looks pretty good for Arnold and West to be 1 2. It just depends on what order that's going to be. But yeah, you can see it. I mean, they're all struggling on these hearts. It seems they're not getting much warm up. They're locking up into all the corners. They're sliding around. This looks really difficult. I can see why they'd want to start this sprint race on the sauce. They don't want to have to deal with this. No, so it looks like they will have to pit in the sprint race, most likely. Otherwise, they're going to be on cold hards until the end of the race coming up. And you don't want that. And even in an F1 car, the hards are not the best tyres to be on around here as well. And don't forget, these tyres are completely different kettle of fish in real life to so the uh, F1 cars, of course. They've got different uh, trim, of course. So, uh, yeah, I can't imagine what it'll be like in the F1 2020 cars, because that would be... Uh, F2 2020 cars, sorry, because that would be different. These are the F1 2019 cars. As, uh, looks like j Lou's going to go for the move once that's again. Not gonna work. And that's, that's not going to work. work. What were you thinking there, man? That he, was never going to work. He was too risky on Risky. That's just not good for j, uh, j Lou there. That's dropped him down to seven. Khalifa could have a chance to catch up to him there, but uh, looks like j Luke is back on the road again as Matt goes into the pit. He's been on those sauce for quite a bit of the race, and... He's uh, served his stock go, and he's onto the hards again. I'm guessing he wanted to be on the sauce for a very long time, as he doesn't like the hards either, to be fair. Right, here we go. Look at this. We've got Wes all over the back of Baza, and then Arnold all over the back of the two of them. And Baza has had really good pace, actually. It's a shame he uh, has to pit, but he's uh, holding his own out front. Arnold made another one and a half seconds of risky on that last lap, so it's certainly, it's between Wes and Arnold. It looks like Arnold is the quickest guy out there by some margin. It's just about how quickly he can get by Wes, or if he can at all. Look at how much he's closing as we head towards Cop's Corner. The old turn one, Baza really holds in his own. It's impressive stuff, but he's gone wide off the track, as has Wes. Remember, warnings are quite easy to come by, and I think Wes actually has a penalty now. Yep, he does. As, uh, Three seconds. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting anything on my screen, but luckily I saw the little graphic there on the <laughs> timing tower. It's really irritating this, but luckily I'm keeping track. But Wes, well, there goes the lead. He's lost it now through Chapel. Way too slow onto the grass. Arnold is up and into the lead of the race. And, well, these two are teammates, Baza and Arnold, so I don't think this will be too difficult for Arnold to get by. Perhaps Baza might even just pull off into the pit lane. In fact, yes, and indeed, he, he will. And that might well be the race uh, sorted unless Arnold makes any sort of mistake towards the end of this one. Even if he does, he seems way quicker than the rest of the field. And uh, Khalifa had similar quality pace as well. He's got no penalties, so keep an eye on him. Uh, he should be making his way at the field as well. And obviously in the championship fight, which you might say is a bit irrelevant at this point, but he is going to be clawing some points back through those penalties at the end and if he has good pace. So uh, keep an eye on him as well. Yeah, I think Arnold overall on race trim has been looking definitely a lot better in terms of his lap times as Baza goes in for the softs. But yeah, I'll keep an eye on what his uh, last few lap times actually as uh, Arnold. Arnold, sorry. Uh, 141.6, 141.2, 141.7, 142.1, 141.1 and Waze, 143.3, 143.3, 143.7. 142.7, so yeah, um, in about a space of four or five laps, Arnold is about a second or two seconds quicker than Waze um, in uh, per lap, so that's why Arnold is gaining so much on Waze per lap at the moment. So we've got Jordan, Brandon and Cam. This could be a three-way fight brewing right now. Jordan certainly looks quite eager to get ahead of uh, Brandon. He was ahead of him earlier, might have well lost out in the pit stops. And wants to get back ahead. And obviously Cam, he once led this race. You can see what has been caused by not pitting under the safety car. He should have done so as it turns out. 
because um, yeah, pretty much everybody in that top five, the entire top five, uh, you know, they went for different uh, pit stop strategies, and it seems to be working out very nicely for them. So that was interesting. Didn't think the safety car would be that effective for them, but it has been. Yeah, it looks like it. To be honest, usually people are praying for safety cars, and I think some people did, as we got Khalifa that just went for a send in to stow on J Luke there. That was, I think, easy due to uh, J Luke's. I think much worn tyres due to him going in lots of spin but oh, no that's not again. gonna work he's he's, he's making too many overtakes that just doesn't work you know he wants that position but to be honest he's gonna lose more points now because his hard tires are gonna be even hotter especially the rears and cam brandon jordan the train's just growing at the moment we got red matt as well i don't think yuri's gonna catch up anytime soon but yeah Jay Luke's race has gone from bad to worse. Just oh. going for overtakes that does not stick oh. right now. Oh, what Brandon. A, uh, I'm seeing all sorts going on there. Brandon had a little look on Cam, and Cam broke so late. I was worried he was going to go into the back of Jamie, who he wanted to get by after his mistake, but now pulls away. And surely Brandon will now get him. Uh, well, we'll see. On the outside, it works in an F1 car. Maybe in these less downforce F2 cars, as we're on the outside, stuff might not work. But it looks like, actually, it will work. And Brandon is moving out of reverse grid pole and up into P7. But a good exit from Cam does mean that they might well go side by side towards Cops and across the old start finish straight. And Jordan is quicker than both of them. Where is he going to go? Is he going to be seen? I don't oh. think he is being seen by Cam, who nearly sends him off the track and then goes way too deep into Cops. He was on the wrong line. And surely this time Jordan will be able to sweep round his outside. And Matt will be in there too. Red Matt is lurking in the distance. And yeah, everyone's holding each other up and just adding more and more people to the fight. And it's Cam who's out of a first good pull right now, but Jamie does have a penalty, so he might actually not mind being in this position right now, because it would actually be a reverse good pull as it stands. Yeah, as long as he can keep the pace with Jordan and Brandon, then he, they should be they should be fine, and J. Luke as well, and probably J. Luke is more prone to making mistakes right now with defending on his overtake, so yeah, it looks like Cam could still get it, and you would rather be 8th than 9th uh, at this point, because for ninth down, would you going to start where you finish, and that's not what you want, Especially around Silverstone, we see the mess that happened in the in the, in, in the first few laps of the race. We don't want to see the same mess happen to some of these drivers once again. Cause that could ruin any chance of getting any points in the in the next race. Because only a certain few get some points. As Baz is looking really good on those soft tyres, and he can get a chance to get both Carl and Yuri heading into turn oh. three. But it doesn't look like he's going to do. It. Oh, maybe he's going to do it, actually. But he doesn't want to risk it at the moment. But maybe he could do it into turn four. Slightly, quite a little bit early on the brakes there. Going side by side there. We got Dark. Oh, we got, I think it was. I'm trying to see Ooh. who he was going side by side with. But yeah, it's Carl, Carl actually. It? It's Carl, yeah. Because there was Dark Shadow right behind. I was a bit confused, but he's very three seconds off. But yeah, Carl with a lock up. Bazza can come up again. And that's Jay's Oh, that's Jamie's in the again. wall. And he's out the race. Well, it was inevitable well. really for Jay Luke. To be honest. Yes. And we've got a full course yellow of some kind. Again, I can't not, see what it is. It's is. not telling me either, to be honest. Right, well, look look for the boards. There's a board that says safety car. And that is good for Khalifa because he was flying along. He had passed Dextra on that lap. Had set a purple middle sec or a purple first sector. Jack has got a drive through penalty for speeding. But will we see any pit stops? Yes, we will. Race into the pits. I do wonder if Khalifa might not fancy following him in, actually. Because he was so quick on these hearts. On a Maybe restart not. on the softs. On the restart, anyone on the softs would fly through the field, I would have thought. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I d to be honest, if I was driving one of those cars, I don't know what I would do. But if I was near the back, go for the soft tyres. Try and go for fastest lap. But wait, he's, where, he's gonna he's gonna lose so a little bit well, more time to everyone else. He'll come out fifth, though, I think. And that might work out okay. Uh, and... Brandon, maybe. Brandon's in mm. sit. He's coming uh, he's, on the he final get him, won't he? Ah, that might not work for Waste then, actually, because he does have the penalty as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Ah. Yeah, Brandon's no, got that's... him, so is Jordan. Cam as well. Red Matt. Yeah, Waze is dropping down to ninth now. This safety car has not helped him whatsoever. Of course, there's not many laps left. There's only three laps left, and that safety car is going to have to go in at some point. And when it's this later on in the race, it's not going to wait for you to catch up to it. It will just go. This happens in the regular F2 season when we had the Britain short race where only one or two cars had actually caught us at the safety car but they had to go in because we'd run out of laps. 
will that happen again? Because Arnold, the race leader, the most important one, has caught the safety car and it might well just turn around and say I'm pitting. Someone's gone off the track, by the way. I think it's Dark Shadow. He's got a front he, left oh, puncture. Oh, he's got a puncture. Oh, that's Is there not good. anything? Must have hit some of Jamie's debris, perhaps, or maybe nine laps on the sauce. It's too long. Yeah, that uh, is. Way too it long. is the front left. It's the front left that would go, isn't it, on this track? We've seen it with yeah. F1 and F2 in real life. Uh, so Hamilton. maybe that is Hamilton, and we had Lungard as well. Safety car in this lap. Loads of people had those issues, but we are getting ready to go again. And I think Risky was nearly into the back of Arnold. He really slowed the pack up there. But all this weaving is going to help them all catch. And Wiss is in there. So you're going to have to keep your eye on him as you get ready for the restart, which is happening right now. Because Arnold has put his foot down. Half the field have got nowhere near the safety car. But there's nothing they can really do about that. They can't add laps to the race. So we're just going to have to deal with that, unfortunately. But we are racing again. And Risky's gone too deep into the last year. I think and Khalifa's been left a bit behind. But... Again, gaps starting to build already. Doesn't look like there's going to be much racing towards turn one, apart from perhaps Waze. Yeah, we got Waze right on the back of Red, Matt. I thought that the delta between the softs and the hards would mean Waze could catch him, but probably not due to Red, Matt, um, doing very well on, the, on those hard sides. So, yeah, Waze has got a lot of catching up to do, because he's also got penalties as well. So even if Waze catches up to Red, Matt, and overtakes him, he's got to get clear of... Let me just have a look at the penalties again. Three seconds, and that's probably not going to happen, but he's probably going to stay in ninth due to Baz's eight-second penalty. So he's fine at the moment, but for uh, if he wants to gain more positions, he's probably better staying where he is rather than him just chasing red map. But we will see. As, uh, we're seeing Ray's going faster as he's going side by side. Always, oh. that's not how you try to overtake into uh, Woodcote there, but... Yeah, that's wet Red Matt out of the pitch for Waze, and uh, yeah, he stays in ninth place. I don't think he's got damage, though. Here comes Cam. Let's have a look at the inside into uh, Maggots. Let's not do that yet. Maybe last lap, Heroics, but we're not, not penultimate lap yet. Uh, for, oh, he has oh, hit him, though, God. so maybe, maybe he wants some Heroics. Uh, Khalifa really wants to get past Risky here. I can see Brown is all over the back of Dexter as well. There's quite a lot to watch out for here, but we'll watch some people that are side by side in the road, because I don't think Khalifa's gone for the move yet. He could have won this race, Khalifa, if he just got by quickly, but not going to happen now. Arno looks well clear. And Jordan might fancy getting Dexter as well. He's got eight seconds of penalties anyway, the MP Motorsport driver, so he probably doesn't, you know, it's not essential to pass him, but... If Jordan wants to finish in fourth place, he has got to pass him. He's not doing so. Red Matt all over Jordan as well. And Oh, well, okay. Hasn't used his tire compounds as Dexter, so he's been disqualified. So uh, that's your that answer de then. That definitely answers it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never... I hardly ever commented F250% races, oh, so I don't have a clue. Oh, yes. He's Waze. dived there. Dive he's dive-bombed. He's but broken Cam's front wing, I think. Oh, Bit ambitious. Waze, Waze. Do not. Oh, he, he's uh, he's going for it, but I think he's got it done. But it doesn't matter for Cam because Cam's got less penalties than him. So uh, if I was Cam, I would stay behind Waze if I were you. Red Matt's also going for a move on. Uh, uh, actually, no, it's uh, yeah, Jordan because uh, Jordan has got no penalties as well. So that is position on the chat for pretty much Red Matt, Jordan, and Brandon. But Brandon's already pulled away from uh, Jordan there. So. Uh, Brandon looks like he's going to get fourth. Khalifa is going to get P3. And actually, no, he's going to get P2 due to Risky's penalties. I forgot Risky had a penalty. But Khalifa wants to get it on track anyway. I tell you what, Wes is going to be kicking himself after this one. He could have finished second in this one. And yeah. instead he's going to end up... He might, he might get second on the reverse grid. In fact, he actually might be on for reverse grid pulls at stands. But here yeah, but comes... Here comes Khalifa into the Stowe complex again. You don't really have to go for this one, Khalifa. You've got second place in the bag, but he has got a great exit. The, the extra penalty does it for him. And down the inside he goes. He's up to second place. He's nearly spun, actually. Nearly contact. And, well, we'll have to cut away from this for just a second, because here comes Arnold to win the race. So, pretty dominant for him in the end there. Khalifa second. Brandon, third, Jordan, Red Matt, Risky, Waste, well, Cam, actually seventh, then Waste does get a first good pull then. Uh, Baza in, in ninth, Yuri, and then uh, we'll wait for the rest to cross the line, but Arnold, good start, but Khalifa, second in the championship, 
second in the race as well. So not the biggest point game possible, but still he'll take it. It's a win. He'll, he'll be happy enough. Yeah, I think he will as well. I think um, I think that's what he's fighting for at the moment. If he thinks he can't win the championship, he wants to get the best of the rest title. But what's happened to... Oh, yeah, Jacko had to serve his drive through. <laughs> he's he's crossed the line in the pit lane. I was about to ask the question, and what happens with drive throughs if it's not said by the end of the race? But you'd probably get disqualified if you do that. So Dark Shadow has probably come out behind him. Yes, he does. So... I think we're just waiting for Pete at the moment and uh, Storm. Yeah, and those who cross the line. So that is the end of the feature race then. But do stick around. We have got, of course, a sprint. And Red Matt there, games driver today. He was at the very back of the grid after qualifying, so it was a good race for him to come back up through the field. But there is your race winner. Arnard, he has extended his chance at Leeds, must be around 30 odd points now, he needs to be about 50 clear by the end of tonight to win the championship, so um, it will need quite something for him to do it, but uh, again, we'll crunch the numbers at the end of this thing and see, but um, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, just, let's just look at the results anyway for the first race, just confirm the original results anyway, I have a feeling that there might be some anger from Cam. He, <laughs> yes. mind you, I don't, I don't really know what Cam would ask for in fairness take Cam is off way so I can get a first good pull maybe but uh, Arnold wins the race from Khalifa then Brandon, Jordan, Red Matt, Risky Cam, Waste they'll all be reversed on the grid so that'll line up Waste, Cam, Risky, Red Matt, Jordan Brandon, Khalifa, Arnold then everyone else will stay in their finishing positions they are Baza, Ninth, then Yuri Kyle, Snowy Panda, Pete, Jacko Dark Shadow, Jamie Corey, Mr. John, MK Bourne and Dexter. Again, we'll be asking again to see Corey doing some of his magic, because he's the fastest guy around here, I, I promise. He's just binned it, so we didn't get to see it. And then he's finally got but, fastest uh, lap, which is Khalifa, so Khalifa gets an extra point, because he's in the top ten, so that's a bonus uh, point, as it were, in, in the championship, and obviously with the um, him getting pole, he also gets three points as well from that. So he's got four extra points to, to today compared to uh, yeah. the points that he's got. So I'm just trying to think what second place gets in the race. I should have it with I me. Uh, 20. 20 points. So, so actually, that'll be 20, 24 points. So the gap in that race was so one point. Yeah, so so far, Arnold's only actually extended by a single point, which means he's 27 points clear. Which means he cannot secure the title. Because yeah. he'd have to... You only get 20 points for the win here. Plus one for the fast lap. So Arnold doesn't win the title tonight. We can we can ignore that thing now. He hasn't won it. He won't win it. We don't we'll have to do maths. We'll get next week. We, <laughs> we, we can do our maths, thank goodness, for that one. Oh, well, I don't even have to. Though, you do. <laughs> even, though, even though the F2 admin, who I'm pretty sure is Khalifa, she said that... Yeah, it is, yeah it is Khalifa. Maybe Khalifa was just playing his chances down, but you've got you've got your man's wrong there, my dude. Uh, you, you're still in it. Don't worry. I hope he hasn't congratulated him in the chat, because I'm, like, I'm pretty sure he's met his uh, requirements. But anyway, we've got lights. We've got Wes on pole. Will we get any actors in the turn one this time? Let's see as we get away. It looks like Red Matt's had a decent start. He's flying up the field. There's a car off in Narnia somehow, and Red Matt's up into second place. He really did have a super start, and he's side by side with Cam. He should stay ahead. Wes has flown off the line. He's well clear. That's good for him. It's 11 laps, not 12. I know it was somewhere around there, but it looks like... We were like close. We were close. We were close. We were close. But it uh, <laughs> looks like they've got away all nicely, apart from, like I say, Dark Shadow. He did go off to Narnia. Does Jordan fancy getting up ahead of Cam? Oh, we've lost oh, Yuri. Oh, Yuri's oh. out. Yeah, there's Man, a big ball up at the back. Uh, Snowy virtual Panda. Safety car. Yeah, virtual safety car. Oh, you can actually see it this time. Yay. I know. That's Fantastic. a miracle. <laughs> but yeah, everyone's on the hards though, interestingly enough. I thought they would go on the softs and the uh, pit, but I'm guessing they don't want to pit, so. But it looks like people at the back have to anyway, because of damage, so that's not what they want. The penalties have started. I'm hoping we don't have that glitch that where you have to slow down, let everyone through, but then they tell them that they have to let you through. I think we're all okay. Only two penalties. Dexter again, he loves his penalties, doesn't he? Yes. And we are... Oh, Wes! 
drive through that's... penalty for speeding on the VSC. What have you done, that's... mate? That's disappointing, and for good measure, he's also then slowed down straight after that, trying to say, sorry, I'll slow down more, it's too late now, you've just blown the race lead as well, as Red Matt completes an incredible first lap in the lead, and we've lost some more drivers, we've got uh, Jacko, Jacko up into Narnia. Dark Shadow, oh no, Dark Shadow over actually overtakes Jacko. Yes, so uh, Wes, he's got, I think, three laps, including this one, to serve that penalty, so he's going to do that in the next two. Man, that's disappointing, isn't it? I was oh, hoping well. he would win a race, but no, the oh, Jacko no. car curses uh, stroke and stroke, struck again for ways, unfortunately. Dining there. cycles, Khalifa on risky, oh. no way through there, and he's still trying, but that leaves Arnold with a good opportunity to go down the inside, and he might well actually mug him off. Oh, on the inside, it's a difficult one to go side by side with these cars, but they're doing it. And uh, Khalifa still fancies Risky. He's going for the inside on Risky. Wow. And is he going to get himself up to P5? I don't think so. I'm sure Risky will go nice and deep into the braking zone. Just force Khalifa wide enough so that he has the line on the exit. And he's trying that, but Khalifa's still in there. Some fantastic racing. Arnold's still trying to find a way through, and he's closing quickly as we get yellow flags for Jacko again. Khalifa and Risky are nearly touching into cops, and they're trying to side by side. Khalifa. Yeah, we'll, we'll let him have that one. He's still in track limits, just a bite. But Bresky is surely ahead now, isn't he? No, Galeva's trying to run the outside. That's wow. a brave one. What a way to complete the fight. But I'm pretty sure Bresky still wants some. But he's had to back off in the end, surely. Saying that, though, he does have a good exit. And he's going to take that exit and fancy himself running the outside to try and get back by Khalifa. Brandon as well is going for the fight. We've got four cars all in this fight. Risky, right round right outside of Khalifa, can he make it stick? You bet he can, brilliant stuff. Khalifa, we've seen so many try right outside here and spin. We've also got a fight for second place, Cam's up there, and Khalifa's gone through, Brandon's taken two cars in one corner, oh. I think. Oh, he hasn't quite got the exit though, Risky does have the exit. Car up in Narnia, it's waste. And look at, look at Corey, he was in eighth place there, but Arnold's now passed him. And he's so come from battling. nowhere. I know, they really unleashed themselves on this, but how on earth did Corey get up to P8? That's what I want to know. Nine places in two laps. And he's going for another one. On oh, the inside no. of Brandon. Die bomb. He's going Bit for of it. Bit of contact. Oh, oh no, I think not. he's gone as well. He's lost it. He's dying to ninth again. My goodness. And we're still fighting. Sorry, there is stuff at the front as well. I promise, there's stuff at the front too. Jack, was, he's, he's gone again, but I mean, we're, I'm really surprised at this point. Cam yeah. is second. We still has to pick. But what a start! And that wasn't even DRS fight, that was just fighting side by side the whole lap Risky and Khalifa. Can we have that in F1 in real life please, like every race? Because that is just, that was just sensational I've got to say. And they're, they're even still going for it, Arnold at the back of Brandon. And we've got Khalifa oh. on the back of Jordan. Let's not see again. what he did in the send. He, he's not going to go for the send now, is no he's not. I think he wants to try a lot of risk but he doesn't want to try the risk yet because he doesn't want to get any damage he does know though that way he has to pitch surely because the penalty does pop up on the screen here i think jordan may go for the move <laughs> potentially i don't know oh my god please don't make it free wide lads it's not gonna go well khalifa decides to stay behind khalifa's gonna go to the, oh he was gonna go to the right now he goes to the left ways goes into the pits for his to serve his drive through now that go promotes a freeway fight between Cam, Jordan, Khalifa. We've got Risky in there as well. Brandon, Arnold, and maybe Corey too. What is going on? Can you just carry on, please? Yeah, so like when we lost so many laps in the last race due to the safety car. Let's just have it all back now. Exactly. Because it's been I a like this. superb, superb stuff so far. I've really oh, given us a show. Oh, here we go, Corey. Corey's going to go for the send uh, into turn three and... Yeah, I think he just did it on Arnold there. Corey's now up into seventh position and now chasing Brandon for sixth. Sip, you, you did say he was the fastest man on track. He's definitely proving it right now. You can get points for fastest lap. That's what Corey is trying to prove. Brandon's not having any slipstream. Oh, oh my goodness. Corey's going for the send again oh, into Muffield. I don't know how he's doing it, Owen, but he's doing it well. And he's oh, gonna Risky's going to go as well. Oh, there's a bit oh, of a tell. Oh, oh, Corey, Corey. That wing's gone. Uh, that's to be honest, that's his that race was, over. That 
That was bad luck, in fairness. I think they were both reacting to Risky having a huge slide in front of them, and it's just... Yeah. That's bad luck, that one. That's... Uh, I don't want to do anything... They, they, you can't blame one or the other. That's just bad luck. That's a real shame. Yeah. That's probably a racing incident more than anything. You know, just... You just... If you're in the inside of that corner, you're more than likely going to be the one that gets sent spinning. And that, unfortunately, that's what Corey had to do. But we're still not sure of battle. Here comes Khalifa once again on Jordan. Surely it's going to be a move done into Stone. No, Jordan covers it off and defends nicely to the left. But Khalifa... Uh, Jalik's had a few problems earlier on, but I think Khalifa's going to have no such troubles. Pass fell into club... No, I think it's club. Almost certainly it's club's corner. <laughs> and, oh, wow, Jordan... Jordan is uh, handling it very nicely. The, this is what we are gonna. Um, it's because this is what's gonna happen in the F1 Cup series. We're gonna see probably Jordan and Khalifa fighting as well because Khalifa is back in a full-time race seat in season three. I think. I hope we, you get to see more of this in uh, the Cup series, which starts in two weeks now. Does oh. It? Oh. Someone's gone off. That's Brandon. Brandon's gone, yeah. I, I, I was worried Khalif was going to slide into the side of Jordan. He nearly did so. Brandon recovers to P10. Top 12 get points. So as long as he stays there, he does get points still. But Khalif uh, trying to get by Jordan. Hasn't managed it yet. But yeah, just back on that Corey Brandon incident. I think Corey went straight to the chat to say, to, to blame. <laughs> to blame Brandon. But I think, give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give it better of the doubt for now that he was just reacting to risk because he was properly sideways, the damn yeah. driver. It looked like it. Yeah. And uh, meanwhile, Brandon is losing more positions as Dex has got past him into uh, uh, Luffield and into Woodcote. And Brandon looks like he's going to have a move again, maybe? No, no, not quite. He's not going to go for the move. Khalifa does have another chance on Jordan, though, this lap. Um, does pass Chapel now, so we could get the move done there, but... Jordan's not letting Khalifa have this easy. He is a he's a good defender in these F2 cars, I've got to say. Let's see. Is Khalifa gonna have the better run? Nope, he does no. not. Jordan closes again. Khalifa's gotta try and find a different approach on this next lap, I've got to say, because Jordan is putting the hammer down here tonight. As I don't think he's gonna catch up to Cam though, if these two keep well, battling. Nearly into DRS, Jordan. He is almost he's almost there. Yeah. Maybe Khalifa should just sort of hold back because they've got two and a half seconds to Risky and Arnold who were also racing on that last lap. Just catch up to Cam first. Yes. Then start this. Because what, what are you doing dive bombing on that for? You're just losing your both time because you're quicker than Cam. They're both quicker than Cam. But when they start to fight, it costs them. And they've got half the race here to, to sort this out. So focus on getting to Cam first, I think. Then yes. go for it. Mind you, for entertainment purposes, please do go down the inside right now. Thank you very much. Here we go. Khalif on the inside. But, yeah. There you go. Uh, Jinxing at his finest for Mr. Owen Wyatt. Well, he's going to try and stick this on the outside. We saw him try this with uh, earlier, but nearly slides off, but does keep it alongside. Will he uh, keep ahead, Jordan? You can see the time being lost already. As Khalifa backs it off just a little bit, doesn't want to go right around the outside into uh, into cops. He is quicker on every exit. Maybe he does just think I'll get ahead now and then I'll, and then I'll catch Cal myself. But uh, Kyle there gets by Brandon as well. He's really having a miserable day now, but he should hold on to 10 for 11. Depends where those two end up. But here we go again. No fuel mixes, no ERS. It's just a such a minute DRS here. And Cleveland wants the outside line this time, but Jordan's broke so late. He's still ahead. How are you doing earth? this? This is brilliant. He's just put his nose in and just forced Khalifa to back off. But, oh, that's a surprise. He'll be surprised by that one, Jordan. I'm certainly surprised. Oh. But he got such a good exit. And, well, Jordan, Robin's racing, as they say. But that was a bit of a bang, actually. Yeah, that looked like, like it. I, I imagine you must have lost the back end a little bit there, Jordan, but their hopes of catching Cam, well, nah. they're disappearing about as quickly as he is at this point in time. As Khalifa oh, tries Jordan. to surprise into the loop section, he wants this done, and he wants it done now. I guess he feels more confident getting the move done now. Oh, he's lost the back end! That might cost him the straight line speed. Oh, he's going to be so frustrated. This is going to end in tears in a minute. Khalifa... He must dive it down the inside. Force your rival off the track or something. He's done it. He's made the move stick. Thank goodness for that. Let's see if he can try and catch Cam now. As we have a yellow flag for Jacko. 
who's at ice of it this time, I think. Or was out of the race, he's out of the race. Virtual safety car. Yes. That's popped up this <sighs> time. Right. Yeah. What we... on earth have we just watched? <laughs> um, absolutely fantastic racing from Jordan and Khalifa and lots of other people as well. And Arnold's still in sixth place and he's not catching up to any of these. But yeah, 3.67 seconds in a few laps. I don't think Khalifa's going to catch up to Cam. So uh, Cam's, I think, got P2 in the bag. Same with Red Matt on P1 at the moment. Red Matt, I've got to say, is absolutely flying. I mean, he had a superb start. He was made up the three places he had to instantly. That's incredibly impressive. Oh, Khalifa's got an X over his name. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, and Jordan's hit him. Ah. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Hopefully, he Luckily, comes Khalifa's back, Khalifa. not the lobby host. It's Dex that's the lobby host. So yeah, but you still don't want to see that. No, you know, not, that's not how you want to end a fight. No. Ah. And Baz well, has we're... got a drive-through penalty for speeding on the VSC. Yeah, but look at this. Oh, who's lost it? Someone's lost it. But I mean, Baz was properly slowing down at the end of it because we've got a massive train that's been caused by that. I think he's done what Wace has done. He's got the penalty and then floored it onto the brake pedal and has realised, ah, I've done this a bit late. Yeah, it just doesn't look good for Khalifa. Oh. He's going to fall into he's, this fuck. Yeah, risky has got past him. risky has got past him into... Uh... Oh, Jim, he's done another one of those moves. <laughs> Sideways, <laughs> oh, again. God. What are you doing, man? Oh, this, this massive is damage. Not, this is not what we want to see the Season 2 Jacko Card Champion doing right now. And uh, Arnold's got past not. Khalifa, so that's Khalifa down another position, and yeah, Khalifa's going to be in the battle soon with Bazakar, Brandon, Dexter, and Jamie probably as well, but Dexter's going to try and go for the move on Brandon, but Brandon is having none of that, I've got to say, so yeah, I thought we were going to have a, a, a nice calm down at the moment, but we're still on some more battles, which I, I think is pretty great, I've got to say. It's the last race of 2020 for Jacko Carr, and they're absolutely giving it their all. Yeah, that's what you want to say, isn't it? They're absolutely giving us a fantastic show to finish us all off this year. But I do, I do wonder if Cleaver can come back because if he does come back, we know how quick he is. But it's oh, that must be so annoying now. Yeah. For him, because I mean that's also championship points. He was gaining championship points on Arnold. Now Arnold's going to gain on him. It's you know this is doubly painful for him. Um, all the gaps have now disappeared for me. I don't know if that means he's coming back. Sometimes that does happen when someone rejoins. Yeah, um, the gaps. The, the only gap that's not showing is... Uh, well, there's, uh, most, most gaps are not showing, but there's a uh, P1 that's showing. P3, Cam's not showing, which is yeah. worrying. But we... I think it, they only came back online as they all started crossing the start finish line. I wonder if Cam had already actually crossed it by the time the time disappeared. I don't know why that's happened. Yeah, yeah that's the game, come unfortunately. Back up again As uh, oh. J. Luke is in the pits for Sofs. Yeah, Sofs. Uh, we'll go for that fastest lap, won't see him. Fight all he'll get from this one, sadly. Yeah. Because um, I don't think he'll get even into the top 12 in just three laps. I don't think that's going to happen. He's also no. got the penalty, so yeah, he's only going to go for the fastest lap and nothing else. Yeah, try and steal uh, it from everyone else, I think, which is a fair play because points are there to be Kyle. won. Kyle's going past Bazit, or at least he had a good exit. Maybe not going to go past him, actually. Just a bit of weaving instead. <laughs> Brandon somehow was not, it was in the battle, now he's not in the battle. And he's chasing, De well, he's been chased by Dexter into Cox, the same, similar to what we've seen uh, the other battles happen earlier. But yeah, Brandon's in huge trouble at the moment, but I'm just going to see about penalties again. Oh, they both got drive throughs. What happened there? Yeah, and, and Bazit. Something's gone wrong on that restart because they were all so close to each other as Carl passes. Uh, something, so something, well, something's gone seriously wrong now. I don't know what it is, but they're all going to be in the pits on this lap, I think. I think they have to be in the pits, don't they? Yeah, Bass otherwise we'll see a Jacko in. situation. Yeah, there we go. They're all into the pit lane. Now, well, that's, that will actually help Jamie out, potentially. Well, maybe not. I don't know, actually. Khalifa, he is back. Yay. He's on r and He's made a mistake at the turn one. So, surely Khalifa... This is what you want to see. This is a championship scrap right now. And Khalifa, he needs every point he can get right now. He'll be furious. He could have had a chance at P2. And now, 
P5 beating his charity rival. That would be good enough for him. He's got two laps to do it. Can he make? Can he make it stick? Oh. Oh, Arna, what happened there? Khalifa well, just just went past him. Oh, he's focused front wing. He's focused front wing. That's what's happened. Maybe he doesn't want to fight with a broken front wing. Maybe that's why he's had no pace because his front left end plate's broken. But so, but so is Khalifa's. Oh, where, right. did Arn, where did Arna lose it? I don't know where ah. he lost it. I couldn't tell you, but uh, you've I'll let somebody. I'll have a look. Uh, oh no, it doesn't. I only told oh, no, you they pitted. Sorry, Khalifa doesn't have damage. Actually, I thought he did. He didn't. No. But, uh, either way, Arnold definitely does. That's why I got a bit confused. I was like, "You sure about that?" <laughs> yeah. What a odd one. Now here comes Jamie on the back. Oh dear. Yeah, that's uh -oh. the front wing. Yeah, that's nice. another front wing in tatters. <laughs> yeah. What's happened there is that they've caught up to the back of Pete, a ghost car. Well, not a ghost car, a DC'd car. And Jamie was just trying to pass MK board and he's crashed into the DC'd car because it's obviously going to go slow. Oh, bad luck for him again then, I guess. Mind you, the last time he broke his car was more sort of his entire fault, but... Eh. Yeah, he just came for moves that are not there. And just, as, long as, he, as long as he doesn't go for too many risks here, he should be on... Actually, no, he won't get points because... The next car down the road is uh, um... 22 seconds ahead of MK. But yeah, he's miles away. From, he's literally miles away from points. Yeah, so um, I think he just wants to go for glory points at the moment. But anyway, won the final lap. And uh, the only battle I think that could change for the top five is between Aunt uh, Khalifa and Risky again. They're back up racing once again. And Risky doesn't want to let Khalifa have this easy. But don't forget on the last lap... Khalifa set fastest lap, so uh, he's the fastest man on track at the moment, and he's not making it yet. Khalifa, I think, has that move easy. easy. Yeah, he, it shows why he's the fastest man on track, because he got past him. No problem, but I don't think he needed to do that, because Risky's got six yeah. seconds worth of penalties. Oh, but if he can catch one second on Jordan, he could back up to where that third place was. Good that point. would be ambitious. That would be ambitious. That penalty's just come in. Let's see if he can do it. But let's focus on Remo because, you know, we haven't really seen him much all day. He's setting his fastest lap in a race at the moment on this lap, the final lap. He's led every single lap of this sprint race. He's been dominant. Went from fourth to first by the end of the first lap. And it's been plain sailing. He wins the race in Silverstone by nearly 10 seconds. What a drive. Fastest lap as well. Cam comes up to the line and Jordan has a, a puncture or something. I don't know why he's going so slowly. But uh... I'm away. Cam is up to second place. Khalifa will pick up third. That could be crucial in the championship. Jordan crawls across the line in P4. Risky's fifth. Arnold is fifth now. Just behind Jordan. And uh, that means Risky 6th, and Kyle will come with 7th, then we've got some penalties for the rest, but I don't think that change any positions. No, it won't. We're... But yeah, Red Matt must be... I think he has kept that fastest lap. That is, I believe, the first... The first proper dominant race that we've seen in F2. I don't know if we've seen anyone as dominant as that yet. Uh, what a, what yeah. a drive. The closest lap time... Oh, that was very close between Khalifa and Red Matt. Khalifa's last lap time was a 139.879. The fastest lap set by Red Matt was a 139.839. So, if I wonder where Khalifa made a mistake to not get the fastest lap there. But, yeah, I think Red Matt, we weren't following him at all during the race because he was just looking unstoppable. And our uh, J-Lo. j, -Lo. j -Lo, oh, he got another penalty. And he's, oh, and he's hit his front wing in the process as well. And P, I think, is going to get ahead of him. So that's going to jump J. Luke down the order again. And Dexter gets the last point. Still didn't get the fastest lap, Jimmy. Nope. Corey could, though. Well, Corey, uh, uh no. He's eight seconds off the pace. Uh, he's had something go seriously wrong on that lap. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, driver of the day is probably going to go to... No, it's going to Mr. John. We haven't talked about him all race. I think he... Um, yeah. <laughs> it gives... Like, uh, I remember in Austria, it gave Pete driver of the day for the sprint race. And I was like, uh... Okay. Uh, yeah. It was like... I don't think that's the right person. No. Right, but, well, we'll yeah. dispute that one. We'll, we'll get that one to Red Map because I think that's the most dominant driver I've seen in F2 yet. I mean, that really was just the perfect drive. So what a fantastic result for him. 
he was driving a day in race one. That was more justifiable because he came from the back of the grid to where was he? He must have been fifth, and then he wins the sprint race from fourth. Superb stuff. Well, let's go and look at the order then. Red Map wins from Cam Khalifa, Jordan Arnold, Risky Kyle, Mr. John, who made up ten places. I mean, I guess it's good, but you know, it's not quite the win, is it? Then uh, <laughs> Wes, Brandon. Uh, Bowser, Dexter, MK Bourne, P2, I'm pretty sure it was DC the whole race. Uh, I don't even nice. know. Still beat people. Yeah, beat Jamie, beat Corey, beat Dark Shadow, beat uh, Snowy Pounder, beat Jacko. Although he probably beat himself, really, in that one. He hit the wall so many times. And then Yuri uh, as well. What a fantastic second race, though. Much better than the first one. Because we lost with the Citadel Safety Car, but that's what Silverstone does. We get good racing here. It's always what we like to see. And uh, F2 cars proving that, uh, yeah, maybe we should keep it with F2 cars here because it's much better than the F1 race, in fairness. So, uh, yeah, that was a brilliant race. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, to be honest. Um, especially the sprint race, I've got to say. And with Khalifa's good performance in the sprint race as well, that, that, that puts him winning the weekend at the moment by. Uh, three points so uh he closed the gap by three points to arnold in the championship fight so yeah that the, the fight is definitely going to go down to the wire and well well we next week well where are you next week belgium is it belgium yes i oh, believe <laughs> i believe we're going to have uh andy with us in the commentary box for that one we'll try and get him because Andy, he knows, he knows the track well he got a podium in the charity race there so he <laughs> knows everything about the track so um, hopefully Definitely. we'll have Andy in. He's certainly eager. He does. He does want to do it. We, we talked to him after the finale in Brazil for the F1 season. He's like, yeah, get me back in there. He loves the formats that we have. So hopefully we'll have Andy in there. And uh, yes, that will be uh, where we leave it off tonight. Then best F2 races yet. We had no real issues either. Only a few graphical things. So pretty, pretty much the norm for F1 2020. In, in all honesty. Uh, I was slaughtered for saying it's the worst game they've ever produced, but it is. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop ranting now. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Jess, for joining me in the comedy box. It's a pleasure. Yeah, and, uh, I, I very enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully the last race gives you um, some uh, really, really good battles uh, next week in Belgium. So I can't wait to watch that. And, uh, well, that's what I believe. Also, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for supporting Jet Car as well in its first full year. Um, you know, we've we started what back in February, and ever since then it's been fantastic. We've had fantastic racing all year. Jacko has done a fantastic job getting us all together. We even all met up in real life at one point as well. So I mean, it's a pretty nice community we've got here. So thanks everybody. It's been a fantastic year, and uh, yeah, happy new year. Hope you have some enjoyment in the world state but uh, we'll try and make your life better we'll be back next week for the first stream of 2021 whoop, whoop. safe travels everybody if it's if it's legal and uh <laughs> stay safe that's the most important thing see you next year <laughs>